Hello, hello, Backyard Scientist here, and today we are going to be doing a synthesis of benzocaine. Yes, it is a topical anesthetic that numbs your mouth. And we're starting with PABA, pyramino benzoic acid. It's a health food supplement or something. Anyway, we're doing a Fischer esterification, which is between a acid, carboxylic acid, and an alcohol, ethanol. Kind of like my other isopropyl nitrite video, same thing. We use, we're using a catalyst of sulfuric acid. So, I decided to use my Soxid extractor because number one, I love it, and number two, extracting anything else is now a gigantic pain in the ass. This is easy. Load it, and forget about it. Now what you want to do is add it like three volumes of solvent into there. Make sure that your, um, your pot won't boil dry. Let it cycle through three times, and then you know you have enough solvent in there. The next thing we put on our Allen condenser, and we hook it up the wrong way. Uh, oops, I mean that is definitely the wrong way. My bad. There we go. You want the water going up, or else it just goes down the sides, and you get no cooling effect whatsoever. And make sure not to spill your oil bath on your hot burner, or your whole house will smell like a very stinky candle. And while this is uh almost done here not really let it run for a couple more hours but took it off of the hot plate and I put it in the fridge this is it after about an hour and crystals nicely and over overnight completely crystallized I got a yield of 55 out of 60 grams and I was okay with that all right I'm not even gonna talk about this because it was horrible do you have any idea how long it takes to distill Oh my god. Oh my god. Forget about it. Okay. Fun part. Fun part. We are starting off. 15 grams of PABA and adding it to our chilled alcohol. And it's important to keep it chilled because adding the sulfuric acid, as you know, is an exothermic reaction and we will scorch our product and ruin it if we don't do this slowly and do not let the temperature rise. Next, we set up for uh, reflux and set the timer for 90 minutes one and a half hours everything's going smoothly ish and we have a nice condensation front well it looks like the time's almost up so let's take it off and let it cool now this is a equilibrium reaction meaning that your ester will easily turn back into an alcohol and your acid so we want to cool this and do this next step as fast as possible what I'm doing here is we need to get rid of the acid in the solution, all that sulfuric acid. I mean, six milliliters of sulfuric acid took a lot of sodium carbonate. And here we're crashing out the solution into ice water. Um, this is soluble in water at about one gram per 100 milliliters, but in ice water, it's insoluble. But all the salts, like sodium sulfate, are still soluble. So here I am, loading up the separatory funnel with my product. And I'm going to add some dichloromethane or methylene chloride along with some water to get any salts that made it into there. So as you can see the two layers are formed and there's some salts. Alright now we're going to set it out to dry while we're waiting